Well, we got about an inch rain last night, which the crops really needed, but it kind of puts a damper on our spraying schedule. But in the meantime, getting some stuff done around the shop, we finally took the time to clean the field cultivator. Uh, we still have to clean the 9530 and take the side tanks off. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we use the side tanks to spray a pre-emerge on in front of the field cultivator, these nozzles. Uh, Pre-emerge just basically keeps the weeds from weed seeds from germinating, so it really helps uh, delay when we can spray on the field. Not delay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got the 8320R back with the anhydrous bar. We're done applying the hydrous. Uh, we still have to wash this. Adam over here is replacing or fixing the uh, the leveler on the field cultivator. This one nicked the tree, so. That's what he's doing. Hey Adam. Right. And then Chris is putting drop nozzles on our 6,000 high boy, or one of them. So we're gonna be spraying 2,4-D in uh, tall corn. So we get these drop nozzles so we can get below, below kind of the, the surface or the top of the corn. It's probably a better word for that. But anyways, that's what's going on right now. We'll probably be cleaning a few other pieces of equipment. Uh, yeah. All right, now we're gonna take the saddle tanks off of the track tractor. Just easier to store, uh, easier to wash. Even though we're not really gonna use the track tractor much till next spring, it's just get them off, get them washed, get the tractor washed, it just works a lot easier, a lot easier to store, so. Smile. Oh. Man, they made these so easy to get underneath. We beat you to it. Sorry, yeah. I guess. Is there oh. only one on that side, or? Uh, there's there's two for each side. <laughs> well, I lost all the lock washers. Just in case anyone is curious how the tubing is run, here's a front, this is where we fill up the tanks. And it just goes to this four-way T here. And these two go to the tanks. And this one goes back to the field cultivator where it's pumped out and sprayed. Looking pretty. Well, we had some problems with the tank, so we didn't really get as far as we wanted to. But I'm gonna head home today, I'll pick this up tomorrow. Welcome back. Is the next day, and I have an orthodontist appointment here in like 20 minutes. But before that, I'm gonna try to wash this thing quick. He's doing a fine job. Alright, well, I gotta head to an orthodontist appointment, so okay. I'll leave you in full. I, I believe in you. You oh, can yeah. do it, you can clean it. Appreciate it. Good job. Uh, my brother texted me his food order. I got a haircut while I was at it too. Anyways, I'm at Taco John's. I'm gonna bring the guys back some lunch. Thank you for choosing Taco John's. Go ahead and order when you're ready. Yeah, I'll have uh, two soft shell uh, crunchy chicken burritos. Uh, no lettuce or tomato. Okay. Um, a number six meal with cheese sauce. Small, medium. Okay, so gave them their food. I ate mine on the way back. So I can continue pr pressure washing off our 1631 split row 1790 planter. Now this planter, we had a little hydraulic leak this year. And uh, as you can see, it made quite the mess everywhere here. So this is gonna be a while. Just pressure wash all this off. Look at all this gunk back here in these wires. Ugh. Man. Yeah. This isn't going to be fun. Well, Chris is doing the finishing touches on the planter. Uh, as you can see, the planter kicked my butt. 
But we have the, our, our other 6,000 high boy sprayer out. We're gonna be adding drop nozzles to this. So that way, once again, we can spray 2,4-D for weeds in the tall corn. Uh, lots of people ask us, you know, you have a R4038, why in the heck do you use this? Well, these are actually like a foot taller here. I'm six foot exact, and it's almost as tall as my head. So this can go through actually a lot taller corn than the R4038 could. And it's a lot lighter. So there's that. Well, we finished the planter, so we just turn it around and doing the tractor. I'm getting kind of sick of this washing thing. All right, so we're having some problems at our other grain setup, and this bin is not emptying out very well. We pulled the auger out, and the the back bit is absolutely full of crud. So we gotta go in the grain bin, uh, isolate the hole where the grain goes into the auger and clean it out and see what in the heck's plugging it up. Sweet. Minty. Okay, uh, I'll just flip it on, see how this works. Look at that. Okay, so, uh, didn't get much filming in the green bin, kind of hard, but basically what happened was we're trying to empty out the green bin and the center hole for the flighting or the auger uh, sucks in the grain was not sucking in grain. Couldn't figure out why, so we took the auger out, uh, we tried to vacuum out the, the hole or the boot where the flighting goes in and we just we couldn't figure it out. Couldn't figure out why it wasn't sucking in beans. So we put it all back together and it started working. So I guess you gotta take your wins where they where they come. Airplane. So if you like this video and you want to see another one, check out this video or this video. I'm not for sure which side uh YouTube will put it on of the 8360 RT blowing his transmission in a hailstorm. That was fun. Uh, if you like the video hit that like button, get subscribed and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.